Once you're well, you don't see that everyday story. On vacation in London my wife and I were waiting for a train in a tube station. Two trains arrived at the station before ours showed up. As a native New Yorker, I was comforted to see that pigeons live in subway stations everywhere. The first train pulls into the station and the doors open. As people enter and exit the train, one pigeon flutters down from the ceiling, lands on the platform and calmly walks onto the train like he's off to work or something. My wife and I laugh about this a little as the doors closed and the train pulls away from the station. The second train pulls into the station, the doors open, and people shuffle out. After a moment a different pigeon walks out of this train and then flutters up to spot vacated by the first pigeon. Anyway, seems like London pigeons have the tube pretty much figured out. Shift change. Our birds to kink the train. I helped a German guy at CVS jump his car and to thank me he gave me a fancy bottle of shampoo. A big A old ceramic tub flew off a flatbed truck and exploded into a million pieces on the interstate. A swimming pool fell off the back of a truck and shut down one of the two interstates out of town. It was a rough Friday. Worked as a waiter and after we finished one night a drunk man was walking down the street. One of my co-workers recognized him and asked if he was the German opera singer doing and show in the city. He answered yes and asked if we would like to hear him sing. So he gave us a 3 minutes private concert in the middle of the night drunk of his A. I like to think that it wasn't actually him, but just some dude who saw his chance and took it. While jogging slowly up a steep hill, I got cheered on by the driver of the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. You're not a loser, you're a wiener. I was driving home one day and as I entered my neighborhood, I saw a turkey in mid-flight, about 15 feet in the air, glide across the road and face first into the side of a house. It plopped down on the ground and just as quickly hightailed it around the corner and out of sight. I had just pulled out of my office parking lot when a lady hit my rear passenger side with her SUV as she pulled out of a rail station parking lot. Ugh. So we both pulled over at the Taco Cabana to do the typical fender bender agama roll. But to my surprise a pickup truck followed behind us. I don't think too much of it and get out to exchange info. As I approach her car, I notice she's avoiding my gaze completely. I'm standing there knocking on her window like WTF lady. And then a man gets out the aforementioned truck. He demands to know what happened. And why I hit her. To which I retort. Excuse me but who are you? And she hit me are you fine joking or are you blind? I'm growing more livid by the second because I just want to go home. Out of nowhere, a van with a local Mexican restaurant's branding pulls up. And another man gets out and starts yelling at pickup truck man. They seem to know each other. The woman in the SUV now locks her door. I heard her power locks. I turn back to address van man and he's arguing with the pickup truck man. A security guard from the neighboring rail station is walking over and as I'm flagging him over for help. Van man headbutts pickup truck man. Full on. I'm in total disbelief and now the security guard is frantically running and jumps a hedge of bushes or mayo. He comes and breaks up the fight. I'm not sure why but it was only at this point that I feared for my safety but I was also now deeply invested in this drama that was unfolding. It turns out the woman who hit me was having an affair with a pickup truck man and they were having a rendezvous at the rail station parking lot. Van Man is her husband, and he had just caught them in the act. Worst part is their teenage son was with him. Van Man is practically giddy telling me to contact him at all if I need a witness to the accident get my car fixed. Presumably so she can get slammed with a hefty fine or premium or whatever. So yeah. You just don't see a grown-a man head but another grown-a man in a taco cabana parking lot every day. I got as invested as you were while reading this. Where should we go to have our illicit affair? The rail station. Obviously, it's right there in the name. You just don't see a grown-a man head but another grown-a man in a taco cabana parking lot every day. Only because I have yet to find a taco cabana in Florida. A bride in her wedding gown running in the train station being chased by two women holding the train of her dress. I had a random woman in a glittery wedding dress walk up to me at 4 in the morning holding a ferret and ask me to take care of it. I couldn't say no to that. So Lady Gompers the ferret was my bestie 4 years until she passed. So did Netflix offer you a movie deal yet? I once saw a squirrel carrying an entire pomegranate around a cemetery. How many laps did it do? I have it on good authority that it was performing a pagan ritual. I saw one eating a curry from a takeaway container on the pavement. Not sure if it raided the bin or found it like that. 
It bought it obviously. Ah yes. A road and carrying the fruit of death at a cemetery. Lovely. I once took the channel from London to Paris. First time ever doing so. Or even being in France for that matter. As I was walking through the station a dude ran up to me and started quacking like a duck. I still wonder how that dude is doing two years later. French quack or an English quack? French for sure. Watched a guy on a quad drop his hat. Look back and decide to leave it behind. About two minutes later. Some guy in a tan car drives up. Swerves around it. Stops. Leans out of the car. Picks up the hat. Puts it on and then just drives away like nothing happened. This is how my wife has acquired most of her large collection of knives. Military town and young enlisted will just toss nice knives as soon as they get dull. My wife will restore them. And now we have so many. She even hopped out of the car to grab one once at a red light. Brotherhood of the traveling hat. Neutering a dog the other day. He appeared to be a crypt orchard that is. One normal testicle. And one not descended. Retained somewhere in the abdomen. Well. We can still neuter these in fact. It's even more important to do so. Since the retained one can later develop cancer if left behind so. Into the abdomen I went. Looking for that retained testicle. Which I was expecting to find somewhere between the kidney and inguinal ring. Found a uterus. It was like looking both ways before crossing the street and then getting hit by a submarine from the sky. I saw a clip from some vet show on YouTube where this happened. The owners were concerned about a growth on their dog's vagina. And were even more concerned since it had recently crowned and the dog was constantly cleaning it. It was a penis. But was coming out in an area where a dog's vagina would be. A deeper analysis showed the dog had more things from each sex going on. To clarify, you know how male dogs have like a sheath their penis comes out of? This dog didn't have that, and had a vagina opening the penis was coming out of. Thanks you barnyard PSY. So up, uh, do you charge for a spay and neuter or just the one? A hermaphrodite hound? Those must be rare, not gonna lie. I jeeked out a little. I thought hermaphrodite hound was an old Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Huh, that's what I thought. At around 3 a.m., I saw a man rollerblading through the lobby of the Ritz Colton. I could not believe the hotel staff were just letting him get away with this but no one even attempted to stop him. I ended up getting on the elevator behind him. The man was Jim Carrey. Somebody stop me. Was in the tribunal talking to a friend. The new prosecutor passes by us wearing shorts and flip flops with a fully dressed for court upper body morning or honor the bastard says as if nothing is happening. In shock I keep looking at him as he strolls across the lobby. That's a power move. Preface. I live in the meth valley of the midwest so this isn't surprising. I was in Walmart and I saw this older woman. 65 years old. And she didn't have a shirt or a bra on. Instead, she took her very stretchy pants and lifted them up above her very saggy breasts forming a sort of a jumper romper and just went on her way. That's not something I expected or wanted to see. Sadly this is not an uncommon occurrence. Not anywhere near the Midwest and I have seen this at my local Walmart as well. I wish I did not see it though. My friends and I have a theory that every Walmart in the US has the same people in it. No matter where you are once you step inside you're no longer in the same town you were just in. You're in. Walmart. When I was working nights on security I saw two cats getting chased by a rat. I questioned life for a brief moment. Worked in a factory which was along a river and had been raised with a cellar below it. Every evening the rats, who were about the size of small dogs, would squeeze out through openings and raid the garbage cans. Please tell me you are joking about rats being the size of a small dog. I worked at a high functioning casino as a cocktail server a few years back. This lady came up to me and asked me if I wanted to see something cool. Me not knowing what to expect says sure why not. This woman proceeds to pull a purple rag out of her bra and begin to unfold it. I start to hear little chirps coming from the rag. This woman pulled a baby chicken out of her bra in the middle of a casino and let me pet it. She then folded the rag back up, stuffed the baby chicken back in her bra, and told me not to tell anyone. I told everyone, my god, you met chicken tits. What an honor. High functioning casino makes it sound like the casino has autism. I thought alcoholism. What the actual f. You're lucky. I would kill to see that. A coyote pup came out of the arroyo and followed me and my dog around while we were walking. They didn't become friends or have any wondrous adventures or anything. Heads up for folks reading this. 
coyote pups will do this to lure animals away and the pack will attack and kill them. Do not let your animals play with coyote pups. This sounds like what a cartoon dog's parents would say in order to stop him being friends with the coyote in a thinly veiled and poorly thought out allegory about racism. Then the coyote and the dog would go on our adventures proving their friendship and showing that coyotes aren't so bad after all. Since we don't live in cartoon world though, you are probably right about keeping them apart. My wife and I were on the loop around Atlanta in bumper to bumper traffic. There was a Dodge Dually pulling a flatbed trailer in the lane next to us, and on the other side of him was an S10 Blazer, who apparently wanted to get in behind the truck. As soon as the truck was past the Blazer, he started to change lanes, but when he noticed the trailer, he swerved back into his own lane, but he overcorrected. He got that blazer up on two wheels like in a stunt show. I could see the drive shaft spinning. He held it long enough for me to turn to my wife, tap her on the arm, and say look at that. She saw it, he set it back down, and just kept driving. I was like, are we in a movie? Must have been an emirati expat. You live OTP long enough and you see everything on 85 or 75. They even have cute nicknames on the radio traffic reports like 3 car insurance seminar on the shoulder. Things I've seen in Atlanta traffic. A 7 lane highway at a dead stop of bumper to bumper traffic every single day at rush hour. Cars doing a 6 lane dive to make their exit in less than 50 feet. Cars stopping to a dead half in the middle of a highway lane because they missed their exit. The entire highway shutting down for literally one stroke 4 inch snow. A friend of my husband's had a psychotic break and was driving near Lenox Square Mall at Christmas time. He did donuts in the nearest police station parking lot. Zoomed off in rush hour traffic. Ricocheted between parked cars and cement barricades. Then barreled toward them all. Cutting through traffic by trying to drive over other cars like a monster truck. In his minivan. Came up to the cop directing traffic. Cop withdrew his weapon and warned him repeatedly. He didn't stop. Cop gave chase. He cut through a McDonald's parking lot and hit cars in the lot and was headed toward a group of teenagers gathered outside. The cop fired. He didn't survive. I used to work next door to a mini golf course. And the window of our drive through looked out over the golf course. One day I'm working the drive through and look out the window to see four people golfing in full fursuits. Oh god. They had to be sweating like crazy. There was another story in the thread about fursitters as well. Blind dude walking into an ambulance face first. Well, you know he doesn't see that every day. One of the biggest I'm actually the a-hole. Shh. Moments in my life was when I was playing a card game. Keyforge. With a friend in a coffee shop. We were very focused on the game. And ignoring this guy trying to talk to us sit down at our table. It was the only long table in the shop. The guy knocked my water glass onto the cards, and since each deck is unique we both leapt into action to get them dry, and whirled around on this a-hole who interrupted our game just to realize, he was blind. I used to work as a CNA in a hospital. One day I was assigned to sit with a deaf-blind mute patient who was also confused and trying to get up. They also couldn't walk so they would have fell if they had managed to get up. I was there to make sure they didn't get up. I turned my back for a moment and that was the moment they decided to try and climb out of bed. They were amazingly fast. I waved my hands and yelled no. Then I stopped for a moment because I realized I was yelling and waving at a deaf blind patient. In the parking lot of a concert in the 80s, a guy with a big blunt fro stripped down and simulated intercourse with the windshield of his Chevelle. Then he dismounted and strutted around like a chicken. Then, more windshield coitus. Then, chicken. Windshield, chicken windshield, chicken, ambulance, drugs, I hope, either has drugs in his system that shouldn't be there or he's missing drugs that should. Looking out my third story dorm room window and watching the contents of the fourth floor lounge fly past, I'm afraid that, depending on the college or university, that may be a daily occurrence in some dorms. This reminds me of an old story from my college where a student threw a burning mattress out his dorm window. When campus security found him, they asked him why he threw a burning mattress out the window, to which he responded, because it was on fire. I can see the logic process. TBH. Fire extinguish not close. Flame spreading fast. F it. Chuck it outside where it's not gonna engulf your floor with smoke. A guy walked into my business with a mastard and tusk asked if I was interested in buying. 
When you're playing Skyrim and need to sell some stuff after raiding a giant encampment. I just shared the longer version of this story earlier today, but to summarize, a person getting arrested while wearing an inmate costume, got a dress for the job position you want I guess. I saw a wedding being held in a parking lot, instead of rings they had gold spike bracelets and the bride had a yellow tramp stamp gleaming above her shun shorts, holy sh, that's classy, must have been in Bel Air, the ceremony was held in the free city of Tampa. Our tiny kitten had stolen a slice of pepperoni pizza and was hissing and snarling and fighting off two adult dogs and an adult cat. Nobody was getting that slice of pizza from him. I was working at a grocery store. I have no idea why, but a customer came in with a baby tiger. No joke. I got to see it. I had so many questions, but they made me go back on cash and I never got to ask them. To date, I have never seen a baby tiger in a grocery store since. Some guy cut me off with a trailer on a road with a speed limit of 35. A few minutes later I happened to pull into the same gas station as him. I try my best not look at him. I don't want to start anything. I hear, hey, I make a beeline for the gas station door. Then I hear a whistle coming from the direction where he was, still trying to ignore him. I finally turn around when he comes jogging up to me. Rough looking fella says, sorry for cutting you off back there. I was low on gas. I drive for a living and come across a holes daily, so this guy apologizing threw me off. I said no worries and thanked him for apologizing and we went our separate way. TLDR, a hole driver cuts me off and then apologizes to me in public. Trail riding up in a fairly isolated part of north central Washington state when three emus ran out of the trees. Horses were not impressed. Those birds lived up there for several years menacing anyone who came around. A kid, looked no older than 8, on a mini motorcycle cut off my sov. Then he parked in the middle of the school courtyard. We noticed he had a girl on the back who looked even younger and did not have a helmet. They jumped off and ran away. The bike was there unattended still running and he didn't come when we left almost an hour later and the thing was still running. Pick. I saw a car that instead of paint, was covered in short brown fur. Never seen anything like it since lol. Found out today that my grandpa was a boy when the historic tornado of 1939 hit Anoka, MN. He was trying to find his brother and was pulled into the armory by a stranger and taken into the basement moments before the roof was blown off. Found his brother in the basement and was instructed by brother to go straight home. On the way home, he came across a woman who had been beheaded from the tornado. He then saw a man on the ground who had been clutching something. He was too scared to see if he was alive and just ran home. His other brother was in a movie theater, and it somehow didn't lose power or anything during the tornado the movie kept playing. So older brother left the movie theater clueless to the tornado to see basically the entire town destroyed. This was probably someone else's you don't see that every day but this one day was the hottest recorded in the city. I was walking down a secluded trail but had to stop at a bench just to cool down. Then this really tall black guy was sitting in a motorized chair with a foot cast. He was really chill since he was smoking a joint and asked if I wanted a lift so I sat on one of the armrests and away we go. It was a short ride but he gave me a hit of his joint and figured shh, why not. This has to be the most bizarre situation I've ever been in. We passed an old lady then it hit me. Like of you know, we're in the most affluent part of the city and a black and brown guy are cruising through the scenic path smoking a joint on a motorized chair. Just your average day in the city or something. In my imagination this entire scene plays out with jaunty background music. All I can hear of now is just the two of us. Once in high school I went into the bathroom to see a kid crying outside a stall that had a massive 8 inch long. Black as the night. Peanut spike turd bobbing in the toilet. I still feel bad for that kid. A woman at the 7 stroke 11 was trying to put hot water on a cup of instant ramen. Accidentally put coffee. Accidentally. Woman just discovered a new low that college students everywhere will adopt. You say low. I say efficient. I have a farm. I have ducks on one side and pigs on the other. One of my male ducks was awfully ari of the females. So we put him over with the pet. Pigs. He could easily leave if he wanted. But he chooses to stay. He can be seen lying on top of his beloved pot belly friend. Nibbling his ear and making sweet love while my poor potbelly piggy boy just lays on his side in the sun without a care in the world. 
one saw a man proceed to scratch his a crack inside of his pants, smell his hand and then eat a sandwich with the same hand on public transportation. That was certainly interesting. I work security on the side, watched a lady itch her junk, then reach back and scratch in a crack. She then sniffed her fingers, and then, licked them. One of the nastiest goddamn things I've ever watched. I work security on the side. I feel like I could give you a different answer every so often. Watched a guy the other day going through boxes of men's shoes and sniffing them, looking for ones with a foot scent. When he found them, he'd get a little fidgety, went to the back of the department with a few boxes and was looking around heavily, but there was a family and a bunch of kids around, and he left abruptly, no joke. The way he was acting and how he was positioning things, he was about to f a pair of Nikes. It was some wildsh. Watched a guy bust out of the store one time with about $1,300 in clothes and right into the side of his getaway vehicle, which then ran him the f over. Not ashamed to say I laughed my a off. He lived. People shitting, pissing, masturbating, domestic violence, robberies, marriage proposal from a cracked out junkie, accidents. I've seen some sh. Driving home one day down our old, suburban Atlanta street of ranch style homes, my mom and I saw a full a peacock just walking down the middle of the road. I grew up in an area of the US that had a ton of peacocks. My record is getting 9 on my poor chat once haha. <laughs> Love em. But holy crap are they really, really stupid. Tire flying off the truck in front of you. Aiming in your direction. Hits a small pothole bounces high misses you entirely. Thank goodness. Must have had a horseshoe up my a that day. What in the tar nation kind of luck was that? My very first day in New York City. I arrived at Newark and was getting a combination of bus train to Penn Station. A family came running behind us towards the platform. A crazed dreadhead screaming. A voice behind her yelled Mindy. Mindy, you don't know where you're going. Then another voice yelled. Where's Mindy going? And Mindy finally replied there's only one train. During the bus ride portion of the journey I saw police clearing up a crime scene of what looked like a mob hit, chalk outlines, bullet casings, body bags, crime scene tape, although I am lead to believe this can be seen every day. Finally in Times Square a man approached me, put his hands on my shoulders and asked excuse me sir, are you Jesus Christ? What a city, eh? Was at a hotel front desk in Dallas on a business trip. Turned around and saw a group of people in mascot costumes and I screamed. Turned out it was a furry convention which I had to google as never heard of it before. Then saw one in full costume by the pool sunbathing. Must have been roasting. My family and I were coming back from church. We on the freeway heading home. My sister was driving. And my dad was in the passenger seat. My dad had his hand outside of the window while grabbing the roof tarp. Out of nowhere we hear that our dad was disgusted by something. He brings his hand back in the car and sees that a bird had covered the top part of his hand with poop. Everyone started laughing, and amazed at what had just occurred. It was a one in a million situation. The bird had to land the poop on my dad's hand while the car was going full speed on the freeway.